Ninja Megan says, <clears throat> hello, Jeff. I love what you are doing for the CPA exam community, and I love being a member of the dojo. I'm working my way through some of the CPA review material, and I really want to understand some of the overall pictures of these topics. I would love to see something with all of the definitions for all of these acronyms in one place with an explanation of what these bodies do or issue and what takes precedent. For instance, COSO, SAS, GASB, FASB, PCAOB, GAS, etc. I figure if I find myself Googling, then other people might be searching for them as well. Just a suggestion. Again, thank you for what you're doing. Okay, good news. You can go, you can log into Ninja MCQ and you can click tools and you can see the glossary and you can search for all of these things. But here's the bigger question. Should you? And the answer is probably no. Like, um, so GASB, you know that GASB, or you, you can probably ascertain that GASB is governmental accounting. What else do you need to know about it for CPA exam purposes? COSO, like you need to know what the material is about COSO, and but do you need to know exactly what they are and started by the Treadway Commission and all that stuff? Um, eh, probably not. And so um, don't get distracted like searching out terms like, just get to the concept as quickly as quick, as quickly as possible. Get to the multiple choice. Take notes. Rewrite your notes. Study, study, study. Follow your plan. Get in there and take your exam. Like, don't get distracted by, hey, what exactly is the PCAOB? Okay, like, just generally know what it is and move on. And that's, I mean, after you pass the exam, you can study all this stuff. You can read, you can read every FASB pronouncement. But for now, your goal is to pass the CPA exam and move on with your life. And then later on when you have a life, if you want to go back and study the PCAOB, you can.